Welcome to the JeffMan316 Customs YouTube channel and in this video we're going to present the latest breaking news in horror entertainment. Before we get into the video though, if you'll please do me a favor, why don't you go ahead and like this video. Leave any comments below of any of these news items what interests you and do you have any news that we might have missed. After you've done that please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And then once you subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when we post the latest videos, news, recaps, reviews, toy hunts. So let's get on to the latest horror news in the world of horror entertainment. Let's go. So what's up guys, it's JeffMan316, your pop culture reporter coming back to you with uh, some horror entertainment news uh, you know i've been on uh, facebook and stuff at lunch today reading around and i couldn't believe in the last two days how much horror news had come out so i want to drop some nuggets of things that i found interesting and see if you thought the same um one thing i thought was kind of uh, cool was it looks like they're going to add ellen ripley in the in a xenomorph as characters and then you in the Fortnite video game they're going to be new characters that they add i'm not sure if they've already added them yet i just know that i saw the the uh, video and i thought it looked cool i just thought it was funny where i used to always think of Fortnite, you know as more of a kiddies game and obviously i've not i don't play it regularly and haven't played it in a long time obviously that's changed for them to put those kind of characters in there i'm assuming young adults and maybe even people my age are playing that thing now um but i thought that was cool that's like a video game note uh, Netflix also today dropped the teaser trailer for Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. Um, it looks like his, you know, next adventure into the horror genre of zombies. Um, I love Dawn of the Dead. Um, I know he didn't really write that when he directed it. Uh, didn't get his, I think just the style of it was cool. So if he applies that kind of style to this newest movie, um, I think I'll like it. Um, along with that, there's a couple of other, um, news items that are related to i guess what you call uh, horror sequels prequels that kind of thing just continuations of uh, of movies uh, one of them is i read that paramount for the paramount plus network is looking to do uh, paranormal activity i don't know whether it's going to be a reboot or remake or whatever it is but it's um it's going to be like part eight of the series they're already up to part eight what i read the synopsis sounded okay but i'm not big into those movies it said something about like four college age friends like decide to room together in a house and something happens in it that links back to the original events from the 1988 story um, that may be okay i definitely would just check that out on, on demand or something um, then they're also talking about paramount for paramount plus network doing a pet cemetery prequel not a sequel but a prequel and um the, I thought the remake or whatever you want to call that was okay, the reboot. Uh, but my one of my favorite horror films is the original, and I think uh, the first, the second one is, isn't even that bad. But this, you know, latest reboot, it was okay, nothing great. I didn't like some of the changes they made to the story, so I'm not sure I need a prequel um, leading up to that. But you know, I'm sure I'll give it a watch. But I'm not too enthusiastic about that. More enthusiastic about Army of the Dead than those two. Um, one more sequel or reboot or whatever that they're doing that I am really excited for is it looks like there's going to be a Jeepers Creepers Reborn, which would basically be Jeepers Creepers 4. And so I'm really interested in that. I've watched a couple of videos where people are talking about um, it's going to be a another story that doesn't have anything to do with uh, Victor Salva, the original director, and he's not writing or anything. And that's probably the best thing that could have happened to this franchise and this movie character is to get him the hell away from it. Because I really think that the, the third one had potential when I started hearing about it when it was called Jeepers Creepers Cathedral. But what we got in Jeepers Creepers 3 was a hot mess, hot garbage, whatever you want to call it. Um, the best part of it was when it was going off. And... Um, we saw how it was going to link back to the original, you know, with the end when, uh, what was it, Trish, played by Gina Phillips, shows up. That, what the hell was that? That was the movie we needed. We needed some way to link to uh, what happened to Derry and, and her brother and her and Trish and have Trish be the one of the main characters. If you weren't going to have a part four with Trish, then why did you even have her at the end of three? To me, 
the third one was a cop out just for him to wait to get to get a movie out and make a quick buck um he couldn't you know because of his uh, uh victor salva's past he wasn't able to do uh, the movie that he wanted i guess but why well, give us that trash um it had some potential but i just didn't like the way it was made I didn't like the way it was placed in between the first and second one. And that's a rant for another time. I'll get into uh, Jeepers Creepers maybe one day on this channel. But I really am anxious to see a reboot of it. I think it's something along the lines of some people, uh, young people are going to like a horror fest type uh, convention. And then it's around the time and the place where the creeper would be. And then he's going to, you know, cause havoc. Um, that seems a little interesting to me, but I'm wondering if Jonathan Breck is going to return as the Creeper because that is basically the only good part of the third one was his performance, and I still think he does a good job as a creep Creeper, and I'd like to see him put in a new environment um, and given another chance at, at the Creeper to see uh, see what he can do with it uh, under a different director and a different story and that kind of thing. Uh, so the last little note that I've got myself written here is another movie. Um, well, actually, there's two notes. Uh, there's another sequel called coming out called The Collected, which is basically The Collector Part 3. And if you haven't seen The Collector and The Collection, which is the second one, you, you've done yourself a disservice. Those movies to me are excellent. I always tell people they're kind of like, if you're a horror fan, they're kind of like the home alone of horror movies. I love those first two movies. Uh, I can't wait to see what they've done with, uh, in a third one. And I've seen some behind-the-scenes photos and it looks like it's going to be something uh, in a police station, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. But it looks like there's multiple returning characters from the original two. Uh, I can't wait to see that. So the collection and the Jeepers Creepers are the two main ones in this um, uh, news bulletin, news report, whatever you want to call it I'm doing here, horror report, that I think are going to stand out and will probably get attention on this channel in the future. Um, other than that, I do have one other note, but it's not uh, related to new movies that are coming out. It's related to one that just was released. Um, I watched the movie Wrong Turn, the remake, uh, reboot, probably, I guess is what you want to call it, um, last night. And I've decided not to do a review on the channel right now because I really had a opposite reaction of what I thought it w I would have. I'm not going to let you know one way or another right now because I want it to settle and I may go back and even watch some of it again. But I will say, based on the interactions that I've had with people online and what I've seen on Facebook groups or whatever, this is almost like the next Midsommar. You either love it or you hate it. And there's not a lot in between. So I'm not exactly sure which side of the fence I'm on. I know which side if I gave my gut reaction right after watching it where I would be. But I'm not sure that's exactly the way I feel. Maybe I was just a little, um, it was a little unexpected and I need to think about it more or give it another shot. Um, so like I said at the beginning, appreciate the support you guys have been giving me. Um, want to grow this channel. So the best way I can do that is with people like you watching my videos. Go ahead and do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments below. What horror movie sequel that just got announced or prequel or whatever that's coming out um, are you excited for? Um, Leave those comments below. Let's get some conversation started. Then once you do that, go ahead um, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you are a subscriber, I really appreciate your support. Once you subscribe, then go ahead and hit the notification bell and you'll know when I post new videos, reaction videos. And then after I, you go ahead and um, after you've done all that, you'll be prepared to see any future videos that I post on this YouTube channel. And you can come back and we can have some fun together talking about horror and toys, anything pop culture related. So I really appreciate the support, and this is Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter, signing out saying you guys be safe out there.